Hi everyone, it's Steve from KME. Um, here in lockdown Melbourne, not much is happening, can't get anything really done. Um, the um, dyno uh, for the BM is obviously not going to get done. Uh, I can't get any concrete to do the floor of my garage for the hoist. Um, so really, it is a bit hard getting stuff done. Um, I'm going to show today another trailer for the people who've uh, in, enjoyed looking at the trailer build. Uh, this trailer was one I built quite a few years ago, probably 2005 I think, and uh, it's an actual um, fully enclosed trailer which we used for the rally cars we had at that stage. This is a plan view of the uh, enclosed trailer that I'm talking about today. Uh, this is different from the fact that uh, this area here is the part that carries the springs and so on. So these are the wheels are here, wheels and tyres there. Just remembering we're looking down on it. There's there and there. These are the this section here is the mud guards. Now from here to there, it's the trailer is two and a half meters wide. But I wanted the trailer to be a little bit narrower than that. So um, I've brought the trailer, stepped it in. I can't really remember how much it was. Probably 100 mil, 125 mil a side, which is four or five inches. And um, so this section here was connected into the chassis via these members, which you'll see in the photographs. And um, the trailer then had the main drawbar going not underneath like another lot of trailers. It just came in that section there, which gave me all of this area was floor from there to there and totally enclosed up to there. This is the first photograph I have of the trailer construction. You can see as I was talking about the step in around the mud guards. And you can see there's the location of the axles set up. And then moving to the front section of the trailer. So now this photo here jumps to painted and you can see part of the floor is in it. I'm using a timber floor. It was uh, light and strong and made the trailer really nice to use. And uh, then coming on to the next part we're starting to get the outside cladding on the trailer. This section here shows Rick who was a great mate of ours and helped us with building the trailer, and building the rally cars and coming to events. Fantastic to have Rick along in those days. This is driving the Mitsubishi Cyborg Mirage in for the very first time. Uh, then on this photo here you can see there's side door on the right hand side door which was a gas strutted tilt up door which allowed you to get out of the car when the car was in the trailer through the driver's side door of the car. Packed up to head to the first event which was Beager in New South Wales and then uh, the Cyborg Mirage itself. Then we started to add a bit more to the front of the trailer. Uh, the uh, tyre racks, the uh, little workbench and storage bins. The very front of it ended up having a lot of had tyres stacked up in there and uh, big vertical bins. So it was really good and the compressor, air compressor and so on. Uh, this is actually at Rally of Melbourne the, when we were running the, the Mirage and uh, just some shots of the of our setup and uh, on to the finished trailer basically uh, how it was that did the rest of the events front and rear sections the uh, back gate back door was the actual ramps which was really good and then uh, just coming on to the Evo 6 Lancer we brought in from uh, Japan to build into the rally car that we used up until the end. So uh, here it is and thanks for uh, having a watch and um, we'll have some more from the uh, KME page soon. <laughs>